place she had never been. She had questions about her future husband, the man Isaac. She might have even wondered if the roughness of the journey was worth it all. Does that sound familiar to you and I? As we travel this road called life, I pray that we understand that there will be times and situations that seemingly will be out of our control. We need to leave those things in the hand of God. Sometimes we question, Lord, is it worth the struggle? Is it worth the separation from our families? Is it worth the, the, the effort we try to put in to live a God? a holy life. Is it worth it, God? And I know that there are some of you that would love to have some answers of situations that are going on in your family, situations in your life, situations on the job. You want answers, but it seems that every time you pray, God does not seem to answer. God just seemingly keeps silent. But I want you to know, He is not silent to your such a way that you will never have to go without. God seemingly doesn't answer our question. Is it going to be worth it when I reach my final resting place? Hang on. Hang on. The journey is not over. The trials, tribulations that you have endured from then until say to you they will be over that would be a lie to you but I will say that God will give you grace to stand he will give you the ability to rise up in him hallelujah he will give you the ability to understand Lord what I went through yesterday just seems like small things compared to what I go through today but hallelujah it was enough to know if you got me through yesterday you're going to get me through today and tomorrow you will still be the same you changed that hallelujah all oh, praise his name together stand to your feet throw your hands in the air he's going to get you through this day whether 
Jesus will accept you or not accept you. Hallelujah. If you are already saved, you do not need to fear his rejection at the end of the journey. God will keep you safe from harm as you journey along with him. But one of these days, and oh, what a glorious day it will be when we get to the other side and we are able to see him face to face. He's not going to turn you away. He's not going to reject you. Praise God. There will be some that will stand before him. But as long as you, the child of God, have lived faithfully unto him in this life, as long as you've been able to serve him, Hallelujah, in the best of your ability. As long as you've been able to come in repentance in those days that you know that you've done things against His Spirit. Uh, as long as you have a humble heart, uh, God will not reject you. Yeah. Hallelujah. God will not turn you away. Even though she did not know about the road she traveled, she did not know what kind of reception she would have at the end of the journey. She also did not know about her reward. What is in this for Rebecca? It is the offer of marriage for real. If I could answer for her, or give her an answer, I would tell her that everything that was said to you, the half, has not been told. Rebecca, you will have a new father. Rebecca, you will have a new family. You will have a new faith. You will have a fortune. You will have a future. You will have fame. Rebecca, you're going to get more than what you could ever dream or think of. Rebecca, you're going to get more than what you ever imagined when you look upon your husband Isaac. You see, the world and your flesh, the devil even, that you even sang about this afternoon, they're going to try to tell you as a believer that there is no payoff in serving God. Yes. That you had to give up too much in order to get so little. But I am here to declare unto you the reward that is yours. Hallelujah. When you get to the other side, it's going to be without number. It's going to be without limits. It's not even going to be in comparison to the blessings that God is bringing to you in your life right now. Hallelujah. Because we know the God we serve today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The hell has not yet been told. But there are some things that are very certain to Rebecca. Number one. We read in verse 38, or 58, that she was willing to choose. She made a decision. Even though she does not know all there needs to be known about Isaac, she knows this one thing, that she wants to spend her life with this man who sent this servant to find her. She doesn't have all the information, but she has enough to make a choice. He sounds just like the man she wants to be married to. You know, salvation comes down to this, my friend. That you want Jesus more than anything else in your life. Hallelujah. Being saved means coming to a place where you are willing to choose Jesus over your sin. You are willing to choose heaven over hell. You are willing to choose him over the enemy. Salvation is about you reaching a place where you want to be free more than anything else in your life. That you are tired of being bound. You're tired of living for someone else. For being not what God chose you to be, but to be that wicked sinner that the enemy has made you to become. Yes. And there is something deep within your heart uh, that just wants to cry out, uh, God, more than anything, I need you. I want you. I desire the things that you have in promise for me. You cannot allow anything to stand between you and your salvation. You can 
not allow anything to stand between you and your choice that you make for Jesus Christ today. After all, God has chosen you. Hallelujah. Nothing can you name in this world or even in the worlds to come more valuable than your salvation. God desires for you to be able to repent of your sins, to be born in water, in baptism, to be born of the Spirit as He fills you with the precious gift of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So we see, Rebecca was willing to choose. She's also willing to change. Everybody say change. Change. Rebecca esteems Isaac as being more valuable than even her own life. She is willing to turn her back on everything that she has ever known to go be with him. She is willing to live in a new place. She's willing to live in a new way. She's willing to live under new management. This is the essence of salvation. It will totally change.